Yo Gotti pulled up to NLE Chopper in the Bentley truck with Big 30. They told him if he wants to move back to Cottonwood, if he wants to move back to Memphis, he's got to go through them. As soon as they shot up Dolph, they ran through the, on the other side, two doors down. Why was Marcus Thorne with the girl over there? He got brought there with the girl. This is why that white car was there. That white car wasn't parked directly next door to Young Dolph's car and Young Dolph wasn't with that car. It was a girl driving that car because Young Dolph's brother had the drape on him in the passenger seat of the white Ford car. Young Dolph, all lines of communication was cut off between Young Dolph and his security team. This whole thing, man, it was planned and set up. Once they knew his location, they knew it was going to take Mark and Store in a significant amount of time to drive down airways. It's a long street. And remember, the whole entire area jurisdiction is by the feds because it's by the airport. This is the reason why Yo Gotti went straight to that airplane and tried to go live. But people was already commenting saying, did you hear about the Dolph? Did you hear this? Man, the security from Enderly Chopper had to be on point when they came down there because if they hit up Dolph in Memphis, and the only reason that they did that was because they were jealous and mad that Dolph wasn't born in Memphis. And so the only reason Enderly Chopper hasn't got touched yet and basically is still making a big risk is because of the fact that he was born there. But Dolph, Dolph put in a lot of the work that the people that was actually born in Memphis didn't want to do. And this is including Yo Gotti, this is including Moneybag Yo, Black Youngster, all of the above, because Finesse two times exposed the whole entire CMG. PRE, Key Glock, they was all trying to support and actually get people to come up with them. But you see CMG and everything, they wanted all the power. They try to vacuum and everything to have all of that come through them. This is why they starting to have people check in now. Memphis is not that type of place. I know all of y'all sitting there listening and all of Memphis knows that y'all gonna stand up and get the justice for y'all people because at the end of the day, the rappers, everybody in the community, they losing the leaders. And this is why the turkey drive, when Dolph came to do that turkey drive, and they had the dudes actually watching him the whole entire time. Since he was being followed from that gas station ever since he had that yellow shirt on, that's the same yellow shirt that he had on when they was, had his arm sticking out the window at that cookie shop. He couldn't run out the back because they already pushed the button to jam up the doors. Country Black said that Young Dolph was the king of Memphis because he owned half the properties that was in Memphis. And I want you guys to know it's an estimated like appraisal of 200 million like he, he paid a lot and he had a lot of tenants in there so the tenants lose their house next thing you know they still looking at the support that young Dolph was giving them this all goes back to they took the king of memphis who was helping everybody in the community out of the picture they took him out the picture because Yo Gotti knew for a fact he still wanted that set over there. Yo Gotti wanted to run the whole Memphis. You cannot run the whole Memphis when you're from the North Memphis. And I know a lot of people sit back and say, why didn't he collab with 3-6 Mafia or Country Black? He didn't want them to even be at the top. He didn't want to be right there because he felt that he, his music wasn't good enough. He went from, he went from talking about drugs to next thing you know, he signed his artists. Next thing you know, he tried to avoid the Rico, but it still came back around once they instantly said that he was implemented in this whole case with Young Dolph. You cannot go through the city and go through the hood thinking that it's sweet. At the end of the day, this is a revolving door. We have to really open our eyes to the fact that what's really going on because the chopping block is here now. They chopping every last one of them CMG members down. It's over with the co-founder of CMG. He was the main one question because we know for a fact that the hit was sunk and the lawyers were sent to Straight Drop and Cornelius Smith from the big heads. All of the big heads, Big Juk, Yo Gotti, Go Van. Y'all gotta understand, Glorilla didn't know what she was getting herself into when she signed to Yo, Yo Gotti. But at the end of the day, we know for a fact that they have to open their eyes to the fact of what's really going on because Memphis is heating up. And we know for a fact, anybody who lives in Tennessee, you can't go to the same gas stations. You know what's going on. You know Big Dirty set is over here. You know Young Dolph set is not too far from Big Big Jook where he used to go to his office at. I want y'all to understand, the impound lot that Big Jook truck was parked at, it's the same lot that they said that. That's the car that did that to Young Dog. And in the lead chopper, he not finna just go around and not respond on something that's happening in his own city. They said that on the footage it showed Young Dog wasn't even hit up from the back. 
by the dudes with the Drake. Cornelius Smith now, he, he didn't get hit in the back not one time. They said that all the holes came from in the front. This is why you saw no holes inside of the wall where, they, where the officer was going in the back of Makita's. As soon as the officer turned around, he showed that the whole body cam showed the red wall with not one hole in it. It was no damages done, but they looked at young Dolph. As soon as they looked at young Dolph face to face, they saw that all this had to come from on the inside. This is why the investigation is still going on right now, three years later. And I know for a fact that a lot of people say that, okay, it's going to be 2024. Yes, Halloween is coming up. I want everybody to understand this is a sad situation. We real life trying to get justice for dogs. At the end of the day, we know for a fact that the way that they did it, it shouldn't have took all of them to take one man out. What did he do to y'all that bad? All he did was, was with Yo Gotti baby mama. And the reason why he was with her is because she allowed it. She wanted young Dolph. She knew for a fact that young Dolph was gonna blow up one day, one way or another. Exactly. So if you rock it with young Dolph, you gotta throw the dolphin emojis in them comment sections because at the end of the day, you have to subscribe for more updates. NLE Chopper wanted to know what happened to Young Dolph. And this is what makes me say like NLE Chopper was rocking with Young Dolph. And they didn't like the fact that Young Dolph had all these rappers right up under his wing. And this is the reason why Yo Gotti was trying to sell CMG for $32 million. Jay-Z told him that they had to deplete all their assets because he got word from the DA. The district attorney from Tennessee told him already about the fact that the U.S. Marshals linked the connection between CMG to label the group to a RICO charge actually indicting and coming from Black Youngster's brother being hit up in the retaliation efforts that he was trying to do. This whole thing got broken down, man, and got actually shed light on for what it really is because everything that happened in the dark is finally coming out to light. Everything that they tried to do to Young Dolph and that they try to sweep under the rug is actually pushed back to the forefront. Everybody knows at this point, the people in Memphis, they went back and looked at it and they realized the fact that this whole thing stemmed from the beef between Yo Gotti and Young Dolph due to the fact that the baby mama drama issues, the fact that Dolph didn't want to sign to Yo Gotti because he already had his whole entire business plan of what he was about to do. This is why he was, Key Glock was Dolph's right hand man because Dolph couldn't get Yo Gotti and then he couldn't get Moneybag Yo to stick around and be loyal. Moneybag Yo got put on through Young Dolph. Young Dolph gave Money Back Yo a free feature when he was telling he could have really charged him eighty-five thousand dollars for that. You gotta understand at this time of age and everything like that, the next two times Money Back Yo and Black Youngster were actually in their own rap group in Memphis before 2018. This is why they had they even knew each other and was already beefing. If you go back and look and binge watch all of our videos, you will see the pictures of how everybody was tweeting at each other, Facebook posting, back when Glorilla would post a picture with Dolph in the gym, talking about how Yo Gotti isn't better, no one's better than Dolph, this, this, and that. The next thing you know, as soon as Dolph gets out of the picture and gets sent up, guess who she comes crying and running to to sign for that $60,000 so quick that she split up with all of her friends and never read the contract. This is the finesse and this is the games they be playing. This is the reason why everybody got to pay attention to the fact that this is a revolving door situation and now you got to open your eyes and look at the facts of what's really going on. They sat back and I know a lot of people going to have speculations and, and yada yada, this and that. No, they sat back and they reviewed the footage off the body cam of the officers who was right there inside of Makita. So by them having the body cam, it showed Young Dolph it was faulty play because when they was leaning over to pick Young Dolph up, the body cam showed everything, everything that was right there at that scene. And the crowbar and the fire extinguisher that was on the side, y'all already know. What did they use that for? Why did it have splatters on it? Exactly. And when 007 was sitting there right in front of the family dollar, she seen the three dudes jump the fence behind Makita. They was running out with red scarves trying to cover their face as they're hopping over that broken fence that's bent over. You got to understand that when they jumped into the back of that pickup truck and everything, they see, she seen how they was throwing Young Dolph's iPhones into the dumpster. 
the last person that came out with the fire extinguisher, they lit the dumpster on fire to get all rid of all of the evidence. This is why Young Dolph Wallet was found scolded in the bushes right after this whole entire thing. The, they were so quick to board up the cookie shop, they never thoroughly looked through it. They had a whole cleaning crew come in and clean up that bath. They said that the most damage inside of that whole cookie shop was the bathroom and the bathroom wasn't even in the front lobby like how they're actually speculating that the whole scene was of the whole entire shooting that hallway where they threw the fire extinguisher they clipped young Duff knee and that's when he tried to go in there and he pulled out the purple strap everybody started firing through the door into that whole thing and that's why they hit the plumbing and the water crew came up when you look at that key glock video if you really know and you've been paying attention to what's going on in memphis you will look at that key glock video and see how did he get the lights on the inside of the cookie shop to be on for that music video he had to have called maurice and this is why at the end of the day man memphis is too small everybody knows each other makita's raven went to high school with key glock key glock still got a home phone number that he could easily call to and pay them to actually come and do that music video he tried to squash that beat raven said she had one goal in life and that was to be working for yogati to manage the artist that's why 901 trigger trade he played a role in using his four truck to be part right there on the side of that family dollar when this all went down og bang wang he said that mia J, she saw the footage and a lot of people say, why didn't they release it? Because only the family and the people who's close to him, who was living in the house with him, could be in the hospital room. They do not let outsiders come in to visit a person who's in critical. I want you guys to understand. A lot has changed since Enderly Chopper came back. Dolph was lost. All the people that got hit up, the cookie shop people, everything. He tried to go to the cookie shop. They wouldn't let him in. One thing y'all got to understand is that all the people was coming back to buy back their blocks in Memphis and do what Dolph was already doing. And so this is the reason why Black Youngster's brother, Yo Gotti, Big Jook, and everybody that's a part of Moneybag Yo's crew, they came right to Enderly Chopper Street and they told him that the Bentley truck and everybody that's parking over here, that they got to go due to the fact that this is the same area where the dudes that dumped off the straight drop getaway car from Young Dolph, that scene, this is the same street where the feds ended up coming back Wait in that house, they towed that car. When you see that two-door get towed, the same one that they tried to say was, um, they, was stolen from Covington or whatever, it ended up coming right back to Black Youngster's girlfriend. This is where that same dude on Bradley Street got hit up because of the fact that he seen them actually park the car there and run back into uh, Cornelia Smith's getaway car, man. Straight dropping them knew what they was doing by going to that street. Now, Ender Lee Chopper coming back two years later, and this whole thing is rubbing people the wrong way. Big Jug, Yo Gotti, a lot of the big players that's in Memphis, they still trying to control. Everybody knows that it's all about territory and power when it comes down to Memphis. It's one of the most dangerous cities next to St. Louis. One thing you got to understand is that Everybody is supporting and riding for Dolph. If you support and rock with Young Dolph, put the Dolph emojis in the comment section because at the end of the day, we gotta get the justice for Dolph and we gotta tell Emily Chopper, stop playing around and you gotta take things serious because Dolph came back to his own city and got hit up. And what is Anna Lee Chopper doing? He said he wants to move back to his home, to his old hood and everything. For what? For people to come back and set him up? He's got millions and millions of dollars. The only thing he should be doing is buying all the real estate property there, like how Young Dolph was doing, and doing turkey drives and give backs. But that's the same love that you show. It ain't going to be the same love that you receive because now Yo Gotti, Big Jook, and all of them, Govon Hernandez, all the goons, and everybody that's actually in this entire Rico, they coming after him. They got the heads up. They got the drop on his location to see where exactly he was. And this is why he ended up coming up missing. NLE Chopper, he knew for a fact that you coming back to your own city or your own hood is kind of putting you at harm's way. You know that they beefing between PRE and CMG. It's no way for you to be counted up out of it. So if you come back, you're not going to meet up with no PRE members. You're not meeting up with Kegla. Who are you meeting up with? But for you to want to go back to your hood, you know your hood is way closer by your Gotti spot than Young Dolph spot. Young Dolph went in that cookie shop and never left about that cookie shop. Next thing you know, Mia J is the only one who's sitting back grieving. And the mental health status of this whole situation, it leads everybody to think like, 
is Mia J still suffering from her losing her baby daddy? Yes, she is. And I want y'all to sing our condolences out to Young Dolph family, his father, his kids, and his baby mama because them the main ones who was in his corner who basically pushed him to do what he had to do, made him buy hella properties. They know for a fact that the same ones who ran in there, Straight Drop, Cornelius Smith, who was the other masked man? Because it don't take just two to get down on one person. Y'all got to understand, they waited for him to get outside of that car. As soon as he got outside the car, this is where they had the ups on him. There's no way for you to go to in your own hood and think that it's all sweet. You cannot go to the same gas station more than once. And the same people who was right there, half of them is locked up. It's too many people whose name was brought up in this who literally wasn't at the scene on the camera. Only Big Juke and a few more other people was on that camera. So where was these other people hiding that? Where was they stationed at? Where did they set up the perimeter to basically counter Dolph in? Because Dolph know if he's smart enough to buy 100 properties, he's smart enough to know that he could just run out the back door of Makita's. Did they catch him and chase him back to the front of Makita's? It's no way that he was laying right there. And then all of a sudden, before he was even taken out of Makita's, all of his jury is gone. Who took the jury? Nobody never showed any evidence bags or anything that stated that this was evidence basically to show like if the people who was there, they tried to touch him, they tried to move him in a certain position or anything. We don't know what really went on in the back of the cookie shop, but as everybody can see, they only released the steel shots. Why didn't you release the whole video in the laundromat? Down the street, they already looking at everybody who was right there. They said that. 